Hello and welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky. Today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day plus a taste test. So the first thing that I want to do is just go over my morning with you. Um, I have a homemade cold brew here and I will post here the link to the cold brew recipe that I made a while ago from it's the Starbucks hack and I used to work at Starbucks so it's a legit hack on the cold brew. Right now while I finish my video these are mini egg bites five as a serving and while I'm talking to you these are full of protein they actually have blended cottage cheese shredded cheese uh trying to remember everything i'll put it in the description cottage cheese shredded cheese uh egg blended bacon bits you cook them in a silicone mat for easier pop out in a water bath but full of protein let me get that going and Oh, I hit the wrong button. See, I need to wake up. Good time. Then, as a teacher, I can't show you lunch while I'm eating because I'll be in the lunchroom. So, I have my teacher tray. And what I have in here is salami and six slices of salami with a piece of cheese. I'm going to put the piece of cheese in the middle and have a bunless sandwich. And then I have a salad and hidden in the middle is the ranch dressing. I like to do half salad, put the ranch in, and then top it so that it doesn't get all over the lid. And I just snap it on, and I put it in my lunch box, and I've got my meats, my cheeses, my salad, my healthy fat, and lunch is ready to go. So lunch is ready to go. Breakfast is right here. Nice high protein breakfast with the eggs, coffee with a healthy fat with a heavy cream and there's guys there's not much in there and like i said the cold brew link will be listed earlier so we've got those two next time i see you we'll be at my afternoon snack for a taste test on a fairly new product that i want to give a taste test to i'm not even cooking it's something you buy off the shelf and i want to see how it tastes supposedly they're good we'll see so i'll see you at the taste test Okay, so it is after school. I have just gotten home. I am starving. I would have normally had my snack about an hour ago because I would have been home an hour ago, except that I love my daughter and I went running errands for her for school supplies that she needed. So having said that, snack is coming late. But I went through a drive through so I'm what I ate in a day. So went to McDonald's, but unsweetened iced tea, so zero calories, and um, trying to get my eight to 12, eight to 12. I try to get eight to 10. I'm really trying to bump it up to 12. But anyways, unsweetened iced tea. I need a little bit more caffeine this afternoon. I wanted something with flavor and I didn't show you this morning, but I've already had two of these. And this is, this is four glasses, 32 ounce, 32 ounces. So I've already had two of these and now I'm having one of these and I'm gonna have another one of these. So, got a lot of water, got a lot of liquids. Okay, so the taste test. Flings, flings, pop tarts. All right, there's another brand, Legendary, Pop-Tarts that are on the market. They've been on the market a long time and they're not that great. And a lot of people um, eat them as a snack and they admit that, yeah, if you're keto, if you're low carb and you're missing a Pop-Tart, they're okay, but they just don't quite give you that Pop-Tart fix if you're looking for one. Well, I have not had a Pop-Tart in like five years and anybody who knows me, I loved my Pop-Tarts. So I heard about this and um, they're at Target. It's 
So I'm just letting you know this. They're not at your Walmart yet. Maybe they will. Walmart has your legendary. They have the other brand. Um, they're at your Target. And um, yeah. So I'm going to show you the front of the box. Uh, one gram of sugar. Five net carbs. So five net just so you guys know. So, and I'm going to tell you at the end of the day what my carbs were throughout the day. But so far you've seen I've, I've, I'm pretty low on my carbs. 10 grams of protein. So, and I have the sticky cinnamon. So, um, I'm thinking it's like the brown sugar cinnamon. I have never cracked this open. It has been sitting on my shelf for four days since we went grocery shopping and I've been, I tape on a certain day of the week. So here we go. The only downside is when you used to buy Pop-Tarts, you used to get a four pack. How many were in there? Two. Guess how many are in here? One. One. But anyways, so what I'm going to do is I have my toaster out. I never ate Pop-Tarts toasted, never did. But I'm gonna do the true thing. So I'm gonna take a bite of it the way I used to eat it, which was just right out of the package. And then I'm gonna toast it just for a few to warm it up just to see and give you an idea. I mean, I got three more, so it's no big deal. All right, so, okay, it came out a little a little funny looking, a little bit of a J shape. Okay, so you can kind of see the frosting on the top, just doing an honest review. And, okay, it smells like brown sugar. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a bite, not toast it. See, I could keep eating this because I don't like to toast things. I was that person that just ate them right out of the box. Okay. These are so much better than Legendary. I can totally see. Yeah. So much better. The only difference is Legendary has 15 grams of protein and these have 10. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to we're going to toast for about 30 seconds. Just enough to give it some warmth. Okay. So we're going to toast here for for just a few. I got to do it. I I got to be legit. Be legit to quit. And then I'm going to sit and finish my snack with some iced tea and then I'll catch you on the dinner side. Um but yeah, I am curious. I already know I'm gonna eat the next three untoasted. That's just, that's what I am thinking. These are amazing. Flings, Target. Hmm. I'm not gonna buy these weekly though, guys. They were $9. So, not a weekly thing, but maybe like, you know, every once in a while. Okay. That's enough for me. Okay. Oh yeah, it's warm. Okay, it's warm. I even have to blow on it. It's plenty hot. Okay, so for the melting factor of the inside, I'm being honest, for all of you guys that like yours to toast it, it melts nicely. It melts really nicely. It held up well. It didn't, it didn't lose its shape at all. I'm not sure why mine had the J. It could have just been the packaging of that particular one. The other one's maybe totally flat. I totally love this. This is great. This is gonna be my afternoon snack with this. So, uh, 150 calories, 10 grams of protein, five net carbs. No calories, no carbs. And I'll see you at dinner, but these are flings. So I'm gonna put the egg bites recipe in. You already know that I'm gonna link earlier. You will see the link for the Starbucks. 
I'll post the recipe for the egg bites and I'll be linking later our dinner. So yeah, I'll see you at dinner time. And I definitely think if you have a Target nearby, you should do this. Maybe Amazon, I don't know. To be honest, I haven't checked because we have a Target down the road, but check Amazon too. All right, see you in a bit, bye. It is now supper time and we are having leftovers tonight. But it is a recipe that I did a few weeks ago on this channel and I will definitely be linking it. And so what I'm gonna do is just aim this down a little bit so it doesn't get too hot for me to hold. It's right there. Mm. And that recipe is the keto goulash. And it is super high in protein, super delicious, and you use cabbage as a substitute for the noodles. So it still has plenty of um, veggies in it, but it is, I think, I think if I remember right, 37 grams of protein, super, super high in protein. So I'm going to link that video right here. And if you are interested, I encourage you to go there and get a wonderful, wonderfully healthy, high protein meal that you can enjoy for a couple days um, to feed your family. So we're doing leftovers here tonight. And that is what I have eaten in a day, plus that taste test. And I gotta tell you, that was just amazing today. So far, I am at 1,179 calories, including dinner. I put the dinner in and 23 net carbs. That's what everything I've eaten today. I wanna to try to get to 25 carbs, so I will probably have a little bit, I might have a spoon or two of some cottage cheese in about an hour or so. I do intermittent fast right now, so I have to watch my timing, but just a tablespoon or two to make sure I don't get hungry overnight and bring it up to that 25 carb count. And other than that, that's what I eat in a day. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the links, enjoy the egg recipe, and I will see you next time. Bye.